been talking often about whether Frankie de Jong will be staying in La Liga next season. He might be changing positions if he does. He played at centre-back alongside PK, and after the game, Xavi said... I'm not here to send messages. I already spoke with Frankie. I value him very much. He's a key player, but then there's the economic situation and financial fair play. He can give us a lot also as a centre-back. This is interesting, Craig. He has played in this position at Ajax, but mm -hmm. is this Xavi sending a message to him also that you're not going to get to do what you want to do if you stick around here, or is he seeing where he can use him if he There's is sticking around? There's only so many messages one man can take. <laughs> He says he's not sending a message, by the way. Like a, message from that, a message from the journals, a message from the media, a message from Laporte, a message from... The, uh, uh, look, I, I think in the big big games, no. I mean, he's a clever player, and he can play out from the back, and he, and that, and he said that, mm. and, and, and his quotes, he said, look, I prefer to be getting the ball, not as a centre-half, but as a deeper midfielder, starting moves off, and then going and joining in. Well, that's Sergio Busquets, but he can go back there and pass it. But stepping up and stepping back and playing offside... The only that, thing I would say, Xavi was part of the Barcelona side that had Mascherano as a centre-half. This has been mentioned. There was also, at Bayern Munich, when Kimmich played as a centre-half under Guardiola. I know, and Xavi must have had chats with Guardiola and, thinking, and have similar ideas. Frankie Jong could probably play as a centre-half if Barcelona were totally dominant. So everything was in front of him, he could come out with the ball, he could be the playmaker. And as Craig said, in the very big games against the best teams, maybe in Europe, that's when he might have a problem. But the one thing I would say, Robbo, is Mascherano was effectively a Tigers defensive yeah. midfielder who had a little nasty streak, or a big nasty streak, and could tackle. And had that defensive mindset within his game. I think... De Jong has the skill set to pass it. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you the question, and particularly Don Hutchinson, the question. Oh. Is he better than Eric Garcia as a centre half? That's Don. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking, because he is. He is better, better than Eric Garcia. I don't see it in him, Robbo. I don't see it in Eric Garcia. I, I just don't see what he brings to the Barcelona side. He hasn't got a turn of pace, not particularly good in the air. You want to play against him because he's got a mistake in him. But at the same time, I think I think Xavi's clutching if he thinks he's going to play Frankie de Jong as a centre-back. If you're a manager and you're a team doing your analysis against Barcelona and you're getting your midfield runners and you're getting your centre-forwards and your wide men, you're going to target him for fun. Because when he was flying at Ajax, he wasn't a holding midfield player. He was quite high up the pitch. He had licence to get forward. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant player when he's got his eye and he's looking forward and he can, he can play with a little bit of freedom, if you like. Going back to play centre-half, which I've done, by the way. I don't know if Craig's done that. I've done that as a holding midfield player or a number 10 when I was at Liverpool and Graham Sooners. And it finished your career, didn't it? Well, no, yeah, well, absolutely, because absolutely because when you've got time on the ball, we can all play. I mean, listen, Luka Modric can play, but you wouldn't play him centre-back. So I could play, but as soon as you come up against... I come up against Franz Carr at right-back once. Graham Sooners thought I was a right-back. Played him up against Franz Carr. My word, I never played right back ever again for Liverpool. Tore me to shreds. So there's going to be games where if they're if they are playing against the bottom six side in La Liga and you play Frankie De Jong as a centre back because you've got 90% possession, go and do it. But don't go and kid the world on that you're going to play him as your centre back, especially in a two. I, I That's did, not going to happen. I did it for Scotland in a World Cup qualifier. You got you got to really think about what natural defenders think about is squeezing up and dropping off and offside and going with runners and letting people run. There's a lot to think mm. about when you're playing it back there. Unless, as Rob was said, your team's completely dominant and then you can just make sure you're talking to people and putting them in position. They go back to Garcia and one or two others. I know they'll be the odd anomaly, but Guardiola's not stupid. Garcia, back to Barcelona. Torres, back to Barcelona. Leroy Sané was inconsistent and a bit of a problem. Back to Bayern Munich. That really hasn't changed. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know... Man City are laughing, they're laughing themselves to the bank with Barcelona, aren't they? Mm. At the times they, they get these players in, one or two of these lads, they have a look at them, they play a few games, they, oh, they want to go back to Spain. Basel have them. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.